In this problem, we're being asked to verify that these two functions are actually inverse functions. So what that means is that we have to check two conditions. We have to check that f og of x is actually equal to x. And we have to check that g of x is also equal to x. So we have to check that we get x in both cases. So all we have to do is basically just go through the computation and make sure we get x as the answer both times. Let's start with the one here on the left. Let's write it again. So we have f og and then of x. So what this means is that you compute f of g of x. So the g goes on the inside. And it's really easy to memorize because um, it's the order it's written, you see. So it's fg, fg. So this is equal to. So now we replace the inside piece here. So g of x is negative 2x plus 5 thirds. So this is f of negative 2x plus 5 thirds, right? Just replacing the, the inside piece here with what it is. And now we're told that we need to evaluate f of this thing here, this, this negative 2x plus 5 thirds. So that means we look at f, and this whole thing here is our x. So we're just going to replace the x in the formula here for f with this. So this is negative 1 half. Wow, this is messy. <laughs> Parentheses, negative 2x plus, and then 5 thirds. Okay, 5 thirds. And then we have plus... 5 over 6. Okay, so again, just replacing the x uh, with all of this is negative 1 half blah plus 5, 6. Negative 1 half blah plus 5, 6. Let's distribute this negative 1 half. Negative 1 half times negative 2x. The x is the 2s will cancel. And the negatives will become a positive, and we just get x. Negative 1 half times 5 third. Uh, you just get negative 5 sixths. And then we have our plus 5 sixths. That's a funny 6, isn't it? And then these cancel. Oh, and you get x. So we're halfway done. Good stuff. Very, very good. All right, let's do the other one. G, O, F. And then it's of x. So this is equal to, and again, it's just the way it's written. You just write it in the same order. So it's G of, and then you have F of x. Just like that. So this is equal to, so now you just replace the inside piece. So the inside piece this time is your function f. So it's g of, so it's negative 1 half x plus 5 over 6. Okay, just replacing the inside piece with f. That's all we've done now. All right, so now we have to look at g. So g is negative 2x plus 5 thirds. So we have to take this x and replace it with our new x, which is this thing here. So this will be equal to negative 2, and then it's, that's our x, that whole thing. Negative 1 half x plus 5 over 6. Okay, and then we still have the plus one, 5 thirds, right? So plus 5 over 3, right? So it's negative 2 blah plus 5 thirds, negative 2 blah plus 5 thirds. All right, let's distribute this negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 1 half x. The, again, we're just going to get x here. The negative 2's cancel. Uh, negative 2 cancels with a 1 half. And then negative 2 times 5, 6. Uh, 2 goes into 6 3 times, and it'll become negative. So you get negative 5 thirds. Oh, then we have this hanging out 5 thirds here. How convenient. <laughs> it's rigged. And so we get x. So we're done. So all the problem really requires is that you just verify that the functions are inverses of each other. So you work this out. You make sure you get x. You work this out. You make sure you get x. So yes, uh, according to the definition of inverses, these functions are inverses of each other. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.